Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hello, hello, hello. <sighs> I am super excited to be making this video for you. It's been quite a long time since I've made a video and um, I have a lot to say. <laughs> and so specifically in this video, I wanted to talk about this idea of a new normal. I know a lot with like the pandemic um, we heard like new normal, this is the new normal, but in general, there's an idea of having a new normal or continuing to have a series of new normals in our life. So as we grow and evolve or as our dreams change or when we're on the next step of our journey, there is this new normal or this new level that we want to get to. And so I want to share with you um, some stuff, my process. Um, and hello everyone for, who's watching, please put in the comments where you're watching from. I'd love to see um, where you're watching from. Um, and if you hear any roosters, they're like, I think they're like back behind here. So that's what that action is. I'm actually on a beautiful retreat right now with some of my friends. And so we are just chilling. I'm chilling by the pool. Um, I'll show, give you a little sneak peek over here. Ooh. So there's this whole pool situation right here, which is super tranquil, which is why I wanted to come on and share some of these good vibes I'm having with you and also just connect because it's been a while. And so, um, I was uh, talking earlier today with some people, some people that I work with around um, when I started my coaching business in 2012. And so back then, um, you know, it was a huge transition. I had just gotten sober and I was faced with all of these fears and all of these doubts and all of this overwhelm. Like I had this dream and this desire in my heart, but I didn't know how to make it happen or how to do it or even what that, what that could even look like or if I could actually live my dream. And so I know a lot of people are like that, whether it is um, the pandemic's over and you're wondering uh, what, like you're a new person and you wanna live this new dream or you wanna live your life differently or maybe you wanna have your business on the internet or have a business on the internet or you want to do something differently. So how do you create this new normal for yourself? Whether it is um, the next level or this brand new thing that you've never done before or whether it is just that next goal that you wanna do. And so like for me, especially when I was starting my coaching business 10 years ago, I found a really, really powerful quote that I read every day because mindset is super, super important. So what I did was I framed, it's Marianne Williamson and the quote goes something like, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate, it is that we are powerful beyond measure. So I read that every day, it helped get me in the mindset in the morning, kind of like a morning shower, right? We get fresh for the day from the shower, but this mindset work was helping me get fresh for this new change that I wanted to make. Because like if this is our life inside here, when we have a new normal or when we wanna do something outside of our comfort zone, it's out here in this land that's a little bit uncomfortable and scary because it's brand new. So whenever we do something that is new for us, we're gonna feel discomfort. And so really the game changer here is about having a new relationship with discomfort. This is the key. When I can be comfortable or okay and move into comfort and even appreciation um, of my discomfort, then I'm unstoppable. Then I can do whatever the frick I want, right? Because, and I just mean in general, like I, but like you as well. And so when we're willing to face our, our discomfort, we can then create whatever it is that we want, whatever our heart desires, whatever we're feeling inside. And so when I first got sober, like my mantra was F fear. And I just wanted to take the next action aligned with my heart and my spirit. I felt like I got a second shot at life and I wanted to do something um, meaningful with it. I wanted to help people. I wanted to help people pull people through the hell that I had been through. And I know a lot of people who follow me, maybe this is you too. You've been through something kind of major and you want to actually help people like shortcut them that process that you've been through so you can help them get to that other side sooner, like a transformational type of leadership. Um, so here are my three steps that I wanna share with you to create your new normal, whether it is the totally new thing or that next level with where you are now. So number one is we need to be clear on what we want. We need to be super clear. What is the goal? I mean, imagine if you started a marathon, but you had no idea where the finish line was. How would you possibly get to the finish line? You might just be running around town, running here, running there, but you might you wouldn't get to the finish line or even know when you were you know approaching that because you don't have a path. So we need to start with the, the place that we're going, right? So like if a plane's in San Francisco and it is flying to New York, it has its destination. What is that destination? What, it, what is it that you want? Do you wanna have an online coaching business? Do you want to um, make videos on the internet? Do you want to write a book? Do you want to, um, actually with my friends right now, we're on this retreat that we created to write. So we're on a writer's retreat. So what is it that you wanna do? What's been tugging at your heart? What is that thing that has been calling you? What is it, if you could do anything, what would it be? So get super clear on 
around that and write it down on paper. If you want to share it in the comments, share what is your big dream? There's something really powerful about claiming and owning what it is that we want to create. And then number two, and this is super, super powerful um, and important and vital is we got to look fear in the eye. We got to look fear like dead in the eye. So what actually is it that you're afraid of? And the way that I always do this, and that's been super powerful for me and what I teach my clients and students is making a fear list. So I literally will write down everything I'm afraid of in association with that new normal or that new thing or that new way of being or whatever the dream is or that next level. And I write down everything I'm afraid of. Um, and then I look, um, because what, what's really interesting about writing down our fear list is our fears come from the, we can call it like the emotional center of our brain, like more back here, like our amygdala. And when we write down our fears and then we use our, the front of our brain, when we read them, we're reading them with a different part of our brain. So getting the fear out of our mind and onto the paper is super, super, I don't know how else to do it other than this way, right? This is like so powerful. So then we can use the logical part of our brain, like our prefrontal cortex to look through and read those fears. And it's like, when I do that, half of those fears just disappear because they're not, they're not logical. They don't make sense. It's like, if you're afraid that um, nobody's going to read your book, so you're not even writing. Well, nobody will read it if you don't write. So that doesn't even make any sense. So write it and risk somebody reading it, right? Or find out, you know, find out, who you're writing it for and what would they want to read or find out what you want to say and who is the audience, right? So when I write down my fears, it's really um, apparent which ones are just not true, which ones are not logical. And then the other ones that are true, we can take a moment and go deeper on them. So we can say, okay, so maybe that is true. Maybe I need some more guidance. Maybe I'm afraid that I'm gonna, maybe I'm afraid if I start an online business, I'm gonna fail or I don't know what I'm doing. And maybe that's true, I don't know what I'm doing. So if I don't know what I'm doing, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna follow people who are doing what I wanna do and see what they're doing? Am I gonna read a book about it or several books about it? Am I gonna hire somebody who's doing it and ask them the steps that they take? So there's opportunities for education in some of those fears that maybe we do need to grow into that next level us in order to become the person that we feel called to become. Um, and then the third step is to take the next aligned action. So when I already know where I'm going, like if I'm going from San Francisco to, go to New York, right? I already know where I'm going. Um, I've worked through all my fears on it. Maybe I'm afraid of flying and I work through some breathing techniques, right? To, to do that journey. And then um, what's the next step? Buying the plane ticket in that case, right? Or, or deciding which day you're gonna go. So we just continue to take those next aligned actions and that adds up on that journey to our destination that we've already set. So we know where we're going. We work through the fear and then we go and one step at a time, we're creating that, that dream life. We're, we're walking ourselves into the life that we feel called to live. I think a lot of us, and I've worked over the decade, I've worked with, um, um, so I got sober in 2009. So I've been working with a lot of people in recovery, especially in the very beginning of that. I was working with a lot of sober women, but then through my business, I've been working with a lot of students and clients who either maybe they, they want to have a coaching business or they want to write a book or they want to do public speaking, or they want to help people in some capacity, maybe run retreats somewhere. And so they have these big dreams on their heart. And so it really comes down to these basic steps, you know, but we have to take full ownership and responsibility for the life that we see our vision. And oftentimes when our vision is, um, is big and it scares us, right. And, and I would invite you to consider having a vision that's so big, it scares you, right. So it's outside your comfort zone. So who you become in the process is this new person who actually get, lives that life. And so when we have these big visions and we explain them to people, like our friends and our family and these, you know, people who love us right around us or our community, um, they don't have the vision. Like they can't see it. Like it's our vision, right? It is our vision. It's coming from our heart and our spirit. The vision is for us. And when we, when we take the action and we create that and manifest that into the physical and become the thing, do the thing, we take those steps on it. That's when people can start seeing it. Not everyone, most people can't see our vision before we start to create it. Right. Unless you have like these really cool, like like-minded friends who are doing the same kind of thing. Um, so what I wanted to, uh, what I wanted to say for you is I want to know, have you already decided what your new normal is? And if you know what your new normal is, I want to see it in the comments. So taking full responsibility for your dream and what you're creating. So write your new normal in the comments. Like, what is it that you want to create? What is it that you want to bring into life? What is it that you're committing to? What is it that is alignment with your heart and your spirit? And then take those actions and enjoy. All right, guys. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope you're having a beautiful day out there. And um, 
I really believe that we can create and live the life that we feel called to live. It is our calling, it is our vision, it is for us to create and to bring into the world. And oftentimes when we do that for the service and the sake of others, it is to benefit other people. And even having that as the intention, I'm doing this for them, I'm doing this for her, that really helps us get through a lot of that fear. So take care out there and I'll see you later. Yeah.